Yeah, so during the day when we were here, there wasn't a smell, but that has changed over the last few hours. You can really start to smell that sewage, and the thing is, it's not even overflowing. These are what residents are talking about. The, uh, the septic tanks underneath the ground and these pipes here, you can see they put some neutralizer down, and so we've seen video of these overflowing, and that's when the stench is, but not even seeing that tonight, and there is a smell, and when things get full in these septic tanks, people living here say it is tough to live in this park. It's a smelly situation. There it is, overflowing again. This is video of sewage running up and out of the septic tanks underground in Primrose Estates. The man living right next to it says this happens at least twice a month. The whole house stinks, yeah. yeah. I, last time when it came out in the yard, I had 17 candles burning in the house just so I could sleep and not smell it. Ron Henneman has lived in this park for 10 years. He says three years ago, the septic tank started failing and overflowing. It's a huge inconvenience when that happens. It's horrible, you know, getting up and ready to go to work in the morning, the toilet won't flush. You know, and, and it's, you're, that's the best part of your day if the toilet flushes in the morning, you know. It, Ron's not the only one smelling the stench. It is literally sewage out my front door, in my artificial grass, under my grill, under my truck. Kyle Rusty lives on the other side of the tanks. Rain goes up like crazy and the septic gets worse and worse. For years, Ron and others have battled with managers to fix the septic for good. They say crews only pump the septic out after they overflow, which is a temporary fix. Still dealing with this issue, now everyone in the park is being told to leave. Possibly we'll get something for the trailers. Uh, we just don't know. We don't know what's going to happen. The property managers, bar communities, sent out notices of intent to change how that land will be used. That means residents here have to go in the next six months and shift their focus from fixes to finding a new place to live. But there's, there's people in here that just have no place to go. You know, older people, handicapped people. And it's, it's that's, I, I'll land on my feet, I always do, but these other people I'm worried about. So I emailed and called Mar Communities, but they never responded today. The letter says they will have follow-up meetings with the residents about potential help for getting out of here and potential financial benefits for finding that new place to live. Of course, we'll keep you updated on what happens. Reporting live in Mason tonight, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family. Michael.